sometimes watercolor artists have issues getting darks. And I'm going to show you why you have issues and why it's important to have darks. <music> from Drop That Brush, and we want to help people that are non-artists become artists. Please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Why do you need to know how to do things dark? When you're looking at a picture and you're thinking, oh, there's something wrong. I'm not sure what's going on, but I just don't like it. Almost always, is related to your values and the fact that you're not using darks in your focal area. Paint. Paint's expensive. I know it's expensive, but in order to make darks, you gotta have paint. So when you people put the little bitty bitty bit of paint on, they're never gonna get darks. You have to actually have a little puddle and it has to be strong. It, the other issue that I see is people keep worried about, my wells are contaminated. And so every time I have to go in, the problem is to get dark, you actually have to contaminate those wells, a one bit. well to another without dipping in water. So we're gonna talk about that in the demo and we're gonna talk about how important it is to have darks in our paintings. Stay tuned. First, let's just talk about darks. And it has something to do with temperature. You need to um, determine what temperature you're wanting your darks. Because if you're going to go a cool dark or a warm dark, everything in your piece is mainly warm, then you may want to do a warm dark also. If the a shadow or the dark is right where the most important part is, then you may want to think about having a cool shadow. There are many different ways to make darks. The first easiest is look at your palette and look at every dark color you have. This would not make dark, but this will, this will, this will. This is the darkest orange that I have. Some of the browns would make darks. Those are darks. So say you are, you are doing mainly a painting that is yellow, orange, pink range. What you're gonna do is you're gonna shove through and go to the darker pinks. Instead of cleaning your brush, I am pulling out things. I am not going to go over here and clean my brush. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in my darks and look at it. Okay, that was totally overpowering. Can you guys see that? So, so that would make a dark, but here we go. This will give me, there we go, I like that better. So if this was a dark, this might be a dark. That's a very dark, but I'm going to lighten it up just a tad so you can see it. And I could do this. I could come over here and add a little more red through it so that it's not so um, dark. But I can get darks like that. Now, say we were going, and you can see here, this is a beautiful dark. I really don't like it so it's so dark that it's black. I like it a little color into it. You know, I would look at this, and then I might pop a little of it in there. And I can get some beautiful colors and stay in the warm color. So I, I can actually pop some of this in and it really gives it a little, a little, I'm beautiful, check me out. I love darks. It's not hard to get darks. Stay out of the water, okay? That's my first suggestion is, and you're worried about, I know you guys are thinking, oh my God, I've had people, I love them. 
people worry about they get it yucky in your well. Well, number one, I've never seen it's a huge big deal. So I squeeze it, I tap it, and I get rid of it and clean it. It really isn't a big deal. Um, well worth it so that you can get beautiful darks. But this is definitely a warm dark. So how do I get the cool darks? So say my painting mainly is uh, greens, blues, uh, sea ski scape, things like that. I might go with this, which is phthalo blue. You can see I grabbed that. This is a lovely color. This is transparent orange, and it just makes a lovely color. Now, you can see that's kind of a nice color. And if you want to just have a little pop in it, maybe here I'll now add it into a... Okay, I got really dark. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go over here. Now you can see I'm... I, 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 you see what I did? I want you to see what I did. I came through here, got water, and immediately, look at how it immediately got um, lighter. So I should have done that, right? Just stayed right there. And that will give me beautiful color. So I'm looking for my colors and I'm mixing and I'm going to allow it. So we have a very beautiful dark. Now, how dark is that? Well, I'm gonna let it dry and we're gonna see. I would like you to see how much paint. You cannot make paint by doing this I don't understand how people get dark. You just have to put color on it. And okay, I'm, and then I get water, and then I go over here and I do this, and I get water, and I come over here, and you know, I got kind of a dark, sort of, but those people say to me, but I don't understand why I get dark. I use dark color, it looks dark, but they kept going here and cleaning up and making sure it's cleaning up. Allow it to just get messy. It's okay to be messy. Honest, I swear. Nobody's gonna yell at you. The second thing is get huge piles. You gotta have, you have to dig into the wells. Really dig. It's not like a little doot, doot. <laughs> you gotta dig. And then come over here and stay out of that water and just come back in here and that will make you beautiful dark. I'm going to use a warm, I guess I'm going to do warm. So I have all this stuff, right? And that's okay. Who said that's a problem? I, yeah, I have a little tulip. I, you know, this is just a fun little thing. I'm not really care. I was looking for someplace white. I determine whether my color scheme typically and whether it's going to be light or dark. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to get pretty dark colors. And so I'm just going to grab my warms. And don't you know, I need some, of course I need some pink. And I'm just going to go around this one because I feel that he is, he's my most important one. So I'm going to come around. And I'm using pretty dark colors. You guys can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of outline this one. And so it's pretty dark. You can see it's dark, right? So, okay, I'm going to come here. And when I look at that compared to the white of the paper, it's quite dark actually, right? I'm just going to put another color here. I'm going to cover these because I'm going to come back through and make them not as important as this guy. And you know, we can make it very just fun. I don't care. I just want you to give you an idea. Now, me, I always little do dots and I love to do a little splash of... Um, not that one. <laughs> I want the right one. And give it a little, a little splash. Let me get the other side. 
And I'm just gonna let that do its thing, whatever it does, I don't care. Um, so mainly warm, everybody can agree with that, warm, warm. And just a few little things of cold. And I have this, I just love, you know, I could just stand here and play with it. I know I'm probably weird. I don't know that if anybody else feels like this, but I really like, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna throw some color here. There we go. I really just love watercolor and I love what it does and enjoying it. And you can see I'm just quickly moving, putting a wash on. Now I'm gonna come through and do a little bit of, uh, there we go. We're gonna look at that when it dries. Well, there's two different ways. One thing we can do is get a base later. Um, let it dry and then put some darker on top. Another way I can do it, and because this was a messed up painting, and you know what? I'm not worried about that because I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying myself. Okay, I'm gonna use this just because it's quicker. No other reason why. And so I'm just going to get color, and I'm just kind of staying on, mostly on, this side, and I do like these colors, these are really pretty. So I'm just gonna throw them on and just allow it to blend in and kind of do what it wants to do, whatever that is. You know, these could be used for bookmarks or just enjoying. When you have ucky, you know, things that you play with, there's no reason why you can't um, just enjoy it and have fun. You don't have to be perfect. I just really think that this should be the funnest thing ever. And if we're not having fun, then you need to make it fun. So I'm just trying to get color here. And you can see I'm just changing colors and I really not caring whether it's a particular color. God, that's pretty though, huh? And interesting what's going on over there. Okay, I'm looking at it. Yeah, okay. So I have a, say you have a painting in the background and you are doing, this would be your, your uh, background, okay? So I might do this. Now I would I'd stop and I would get a very dark color. Say this color. And you can see I'm just using really dark colors. And now, cause it, you can see this is like mm, cream-ish. Um, but here I'm getting really dark. All right, so if I took this now, I'm gonna, and I go, really come in there and grab color at the same time while I'm doing it. Crash, hopping, stroke. This will allow me to get a very dark, but there's a little, this beautiful color into it. And I don't want it all to be green. So I'm gonna throw in some brown and you can see I kind of stopped now I'm gonna do put it in so this would be putting it on wet on wet and then putting a second layer at the same time making it much thicker so I'm gonna come here and do this and you can see look at how different that is all right now, you have to be fast. This isn't going to be something you're going to think about. Oh, do, 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 do. No, it really won't happen. <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? Dark. Wouldn't that be a beautiful black background or a dark background? So I'm going to come here. I'm going to get it really thick. And I'm going to cross hatch it. And you know what? I'm actually going to throw a little purple in there. Just to give it a little... Oof, something different. Oh, I want you to see what I did. I shouldn't have grabbed water. See, I grabbed water. I should have stayed out of there because you can see it immediately makes it much um, not as uh, vibrant. And so I'm gonna come up here and try to fix that, which I just did, which is bad. Cross hatch. And I let it go. 
Now, that would be a beautiful background. It has vibrancy, but you can see I'm not going and dipping constantly. I am leaving it alone. I'm gonna let that dry. I am so not a clean painter. Some people are so clean, but me, I just make messes. Have a good time. Let's see how dark this really is. Because it looks very dark here because of the thing. It's a 7-8 range. That's all it is. I didn't even make black black. But it's a pretty dark. Okay, hang on. Let's see what this is. I would say I got an 8-9 on this one. And this one, I actually for sure got a 9. That's darker. Dark could be any place in the value scale, seven, eight, nine. And so I was in that, that kind of dark spot. Everybody wants to know what's the best one to mix. Well, you know, like I said, I do either more warm or more cool. But here is my, my typical mix. Fallow blue, transparent orange. I just think they're pretty together. And then I throw in some magenta. Now, can you see what happened? I It just overpowered, so that isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna go back through. And again, I'm not going back and get water. I'm playing now, right out of the peril. Then I determine to myself, I look at these, I then I determine which other I want it more cool or more warm. So if I want it more warm, I put more of this. If I'm going to come over here, I'm going to really clean it, um, and grab and make that. So it just depends upon what I'm looking for, or maybe a more little greenish tone. Ooh, that was not good, really. Grab the wrong one. Let's like that. Okay, I like that better. Again, I want you to see I didn't grab the dark, 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 dark. People will use phthalo green and red. That makes a nice one. I really don't think it matters as long as I can change the value or the value and the temperature where I want it to be. So if you have some wonderful darks that you think that really do well, let me know, I'm interested. I, um, I use the same ones pretty much that would do it. I can easily make totally black, but see how pretty that looks? Now, let me show you how to, how to make it ugly. Well, I, okay, I shouldn't say ugly, let's call it black. I can make black. To me, it just doesn't have, but say if you're wanting a background that's truly black, I can get it. Using transparent orange and phthalo blue, and I don't think that's a pretty color. To me, that is so much prettier than that. But you know, each their own. But I want you to know that's how I use it. And I will draw it, it will be black, black, black. Okay, so let me show you the other way. So let's come back through. It's pretty dark, but let's see where I'm really at in value scale. Maybe a five, maybe. Um, some of these are in three. Let me see this dark color here. I got as dark as uh, maybe a six, five, six. So it's not dark. It's not at all dark to be frank. So, I'm going to come back through. It's totally dry. Okay. And so now I'm going to come back through and say, okay, I'm going to make this basically a warm with a little bit here and there of dark. Now, I'm looking at what I have here. I have basically uh, cool colors. So, but I don't want to, I don't want to use, waste it. So, I'm going to use it anyway. Um, so I gotta fix it a little bit. Okay, we wanna go this way. So I'm gonna shove a lot more this into it. Let's see, let's see. And maybe more brown. 
and I still want some blue. Okay, let's see what I got here. Now, let me tell you what cross strokes. It's basically, I do this. I kind of go back and forth, back and forth. Do you see that? And that's a very warm color. So it's totally dry. And now, and I do want some blue here and there. Why would I want blue in this area? This is my focal point. We'll say it's going to be pink. So I may put a little bit of blue around this because this is my star. And my star should have more color. And you can see how thick it is. I am actually... Um, Is this true black? Yeah, not really. But I like it, and it's dark, and it has oomph. It's not boring. So, okay, now I just hit the water. You know, you just, I'm used to hitting the water. And you get in trouble, man. For a stretch. Now, I would normally never <laughs> come over here and just uh, leave that. I would suit, bring that in because I don't like hard edges personally. But you know, it's my thing. I like it. So I would leave, leave some of it. All right. So in particular in this stamp. Oh my. Yeah, that would bother me. I'm just coming here. Oh, look. I lost all of that dry. Now I got to thick it up again. Can you see what's going on up here? The minute I started um, mucking, then I got mess. Now, I think I would like to cut these out. Not sure. I'm just going to make it up, okay? Is that all right? Guys, I don't know if you guys do that, but I make stuff up all the time. So I'm going to go here. And you can see when I pop that, because I don't, I do want mainly a warm color. Like a warm brown. So I kind of move that over. So let me just shove that over. This is fun. I, you know, to me, this is such a fun thing. Just to, just to be mucking around. And so I'm, you know, if I mess it up, yeah, it's okay. Now, I'm going to go with, I think I would really like, yeah, I like that. And I'm kind of doing a sideways movement just for the fun of it. This is a little. Now, see, you see here where I just skipped it and kind of blew the uh, thing. I'm going to leave it alone just like that. I'm going to come through, soften a couple edges. And this, when I put the blue greens on it and stuff, it won't matter. But you still have a little bit of the underground showing. Let's see the value that we've received now that it's totally dry. Eh, a seven, eight, nine. It just depends, but it's around there. And that would be a beautiful background. Or if you have an area that you're just going to be a little darker, this would be a beautiful background because it's fun and it's organic looking. Just don't go into the water. And then if you don't like what you're uh, how it looks like just spray it and pat it dry again if you have any questions let me know take those old paintings out of the cupboard look at it get your value scale and say is everything five or below um then go for it throw some darks in the worst that'll happen is you ruin it but it was sitting there anyway so Go for it and be brave and put your darks in. You'll be amazed at what can happen. So, when you're just playing and you keep doing this and thinking, I don't know what I'm doing, drop that brush, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You have a wonderful week. Bye.